Amazon wants you to decide the future of streaming television. I'm Bridget Carey and this is your CNET Update. Amazon Studios is launching original TV shows for streaming, but as for which shows will be aired, well, that's up to you. Amazon commissioned 14 pilots of different shows, and viewers are asked to give their feedback so Amazon can decide which shows are worthy of being continued. Right now, there are comedies and children's shows up for vote. There are some big names tied to the comedies, including one starring John Goodman called Alpha House, and there's a show called Onion News Empire starring Jeffrey Tambor. The shows are included as part of the $80 a year Amazon Prime subscription. And this is all while Netflix launched its third original series called Hemlock Grove. These streaming services are pushing more original content to stand out. Twitter is also getting into the TV business. It's partnering with BBC America for some mysterious new project that syncs tweets with entertainment TV. And that was shared via a tweet. No surprise there. Microsoft is also dropping more hints that we could be seeing a mini Windows 8 tablet soon. During an earnings conference call, an executive said Microsoft is working with partners to produce a new suite of small touchscreen devices. There are new fitness watches coming from TomTom. Tom. The company first made the Nike Plus Sport Watch, but there are two new devices coming soon, the TomTom Tom Runner and the TomTom Tom Multisport. These are said to be among the thinnest GPS sport watches, and these track activity with accelerometers. The watches can be synced with smartphones and fitness programs like RunKeep or, or MyFitnessPal. No word yet on prices or release dates. Several apps are getting some buzz lately. Check out the LinkedIn app, which just got a redesign on both Android and Apple devices. LinkedIn has a new look that focuses more on content and personalization. Think of it as more of a news feed of the business world than simply a place to hunt for a job. LinkedIn is also starting to show ads on its app. Yahoo launched a new weather app for Apple devices, and it's neat because it doesn't just tell you the weather, it shows you by pulling in Flickr photos from different locations as representations of weather conditions. And keep an eye on the new Android app by Google, it's called One Today. This app highlights different charities every day and gives users the option to donate $1. The app also can be personalized to show good causes that you might care more about than others. It's in a limited test right now in the US. US. Although Google keeps no money, the organization still have to pay a 1.9% credit card processing fee. That's your tech news update. You can find more details at cnet.com/update. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.